about two weeks ago I was looking at the bees and there was one colony that was strong and I found that there were queen cells so what I did was I did an artificial swarm. Now I know that you would have liked to have been there but sometimes in nature you can't always plan ahead so I had to go ahead without you and deprive you of actually watching me split the colony but I'll be able to hopefully show you today what happened. Two weeks ago I looked in and I found queen cells saying we're going to swarm so I said okay you're going to swarm what I'm going to do is find the queen and I put the queen into this box without any honey without any drawn comb just foundation and I put the supers where there was some honey on top this box had the queen cells that the queen had laid that's in this hive and nothing else and so that tells the colony oh we're only half the size we were I don't think we should swarm and we won't make as many queen cells so that we just keep enough maybe two so that this colony will survive and this one carries on with the old queen and she's laying away and then later on in the summer when this queen is a bit older and if this queen is laying well I'll kill this queen and put this colony with this one so we've got one colony again. so first of all I want to look in this colony to see how they're getting on and to see if the queen cells have emerged this colony is in the process of making a queen and they're relatively content you can see babies being born here if I blow move that look there's one just here about to be born if I can ease it up there he's about there he comes hello world here we go and now he's got a life or she's got a life for six weeks as and there's another one wanting to be born look I'm like an obstetrician Come on. Here we come. Another one in the world. Two deliveries today. So we pop that back again. And there's a queen cell that's sealed here, do you see? She hasn't emerged yet. So that's either she's about to emerge today or tomorrow, or sometimes the queen doesn't mature into a proper queen. But that's a, for me that's I'm glad to see that because that would account for them being fairly calm and quiet and this is going to be more exciting because there's lots of things going on in here they're collecting honey there's a honey flow on and I don't know what we're going to find so it's all excitement I'm just going to get my smoker This is the frames where honey is stored. It's not for um, the breeding. And if you look in here, this is the honey gone into the frame. And when I take the honey off, this is the honey that I spin off. And they sometimes make the larger hole comb here, which is for drone comb. Though drones won't go there, they get more honey in the comb. So that's what that's all about. This is a frame that I put in that was just undrawn foundation and you see them drawing the comb out on the foundation. It's very pretty, isn't it? And you can see it again on this side and they've even put some honey in there. So this is because there's a honey flow on so they're very busy and active. So that's a good sign. That says that there's action in this hive. This is where I put the queen when I did my swarm control. So I split the hive into two. This is one half and this is the other half. So when I put the frames in here, these were all undrawn and you see they're drawing it out very quickly. 
So that's a good sign. And there was just absolutely nothing on these frames and it's all drawn out. See, it's all amazing. They've done that in under two weeks. And this was all just the foundation that I've been showing you. So when a colony is busy and active, this is what can go on. And so they've drawn it all out. And there are eggs there, so somewhere around the queen must be. So she's laying, so that's a good sign. And in theory, I don't need to look at the hive anymore because I know that the queen is in here. I've seen eggs. I've seen lots of active. There's a whole, see it's all been framed. That's all come within the last week. There's the queen over here look, with a spot on her. You see her? So she's a lovely queen and I must not interfere with her, just let her go into there quietly. And there are probably 20,000, 30,000 bees in here that I would spot that queen. And the reason is that you know, you have an idea where she's going to be. And see, look at the, absolutely covered in bees. And that's what all my other hives would be like. And sadly that's not the way it is at the moment, today.